Hi guys, Miss Davis here. All right, so we're going to do a virtual lab looking at water erosion. As a reminder, erosion is the process that moves sediments and different um, earth materials from one place to another. Okay, these are sediments that have already been created by weathering, and they may already have been eroded at some point, but now they're getting eroded again. They're getting moved again. Okay, um, and we're going to look at something called runoff which is a, a force of water erosion where water runs down a slope and carries sediments with it. So that's kind of an example of erosion, right? We are going to, if you look right here, we can ex explore different slopes, whether there's vegetation or not, that means whether there's plants or not, and how intense or strong the rain is. And you should be collecting this data in a data table that is already provided for you in your worksheet. Okay, so I'm gonna start off first with a 30% slope. That's a steeper slope, because if you look, I can actually, I can change the slope so that it's lower. So 30% is a steeper slope. Okay, and I'm gonna have to say, yes, there's vegetation and there is a low amount of rain. And I'm gonna click rain. <laughs> And now I'm gonna take my beaker and I'm gonna collect the runoff water. And if you look, there are three different levels of runoff water. There's low, which is blue, moderate, which is white, and high, which is red. So if I look, this is blue at three marks. So it's low three. So that is what you would write down in your data table. Okay, now, we're gonna compare and we're gonna say, what if the rain was stronger? What if the rain was more intense? So I'm gonna go ahead and reset and change this to high intensity rain. Now I'm gonna fill it up and as you can see, there was more runoff, there was more erosion. Now I'm in the moderate range and I count up again, one, two, three. So it's moderate three. So I should be able to look at this and say, does low intensity rain or high intensity rain cause more erosion? What do you think? Okay, now let's try and look at vegetation instead. So I'm gonna have low intensity of rain, but no vegetation. Beaker. Now count that up. Is it low, moderate, or high? How many tick marks is it at? Everybody got that? All right, let's try the next setup. Now we're going to have 30% slope, no vegetation, and high rainfall. Do you think that'll cause more erosion than, when it, that, than no vegetation and low rainfall? Let's see. Wow, that's a lot of erosion. Go ahead and read the beaker readings and write that down. Everybody got it? Okay. Now we're gonna compare and we're gonna look at situations where the slope is lower. If our slope is lower, do you think there, there's going to be less erosion or more erosion or the same amount of erosion? Why do you think that? Well, let's see. Okay, so we've got 10% slope. Yes, there's vegetation and low amount of rain. Not much erosion. You should be able to look at your data for when there was a 30% slope and vegetation and low rain and figure out whether 30% slope or 10% slope has more erosion. And when you look at that, I want you to think, why would the situation that has more erosion have more erosion? What is it about the slope that changes the amount of erosion? Okay, now let's try 10% uh, slope with high intensity rain. 
Will there be more erosion, do you think, than there is right now? Let's see. You should be able to compare this one with either the one we just did to see whether rain intensity is important, or you could compare it with the 30% slope that had vegetation and high intensity rain to see how whether the slope is important. What did you observe? Let's try the next one now. We're gonna do 10% slope, no vegetation, low rainfall. Okay, so what effect did no vegetation have on erosion? Was there more erosion or was there less erosion? So what does that tell you about plants and what they do for sediments and how they affect whether sediments wash away or not? And why would plants do that? Last one, 10% slope. No vegetation, high intensity rainfall. All right, let's see how much there was. Quite a bit. All right, go ahead and look at that. Is it low, moderate, or high? And then how many tick marks is it at? And write that down in your data table. All right, that's it. That's the experiment. You've collected all the data, and now it's time to decide which factors cause the most erosion, low slope or high slope, is when there's vegetation or when there's no vegetation, low intensity rain or high intensity rain. You should be able to, from your data, figure out which of those cause more erosion, and then you should be able to write a science argument explaining why they do. All right, good luck.